supporting characters have certainly come a long way. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're concluding our series of the most memorable video game characters with the top 10 memorable video game characters of the 2010s. For this list, we're taking a look at video game characters that achieved their iconic status in the past five years. If you didn't see a character you thought should be here, make sure you check out our previous videos in the series to see if they made it there. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Number 10, Jody Holmes, Beyond Two Souls. They're coming. Beyond Two Souls is evidence that video games have become as filmic as ever, with cinematic cutscenes and big name actors starring. I was born with a strange gift. Our leading lady here is Ellen Page in a powerful performance as Jodie Holmes, a young woman with one heck of an invisible friend. As surreal as the game gets, Jodie's strength, sympathy, and humanity gives the experience genuine spirit. Pun intended. Thanks. By the time the player learns the secrets behind Jody's unusual gift, they feel like their soul has become linked to hers. Number 9. Freddy Fazbear – Five Nights at Freddy's Series Say what you want about these games, there's no denying that Freddy's been prolific these days. Freddy Fazbear is one of those animatronics from Chuck E. Cheese or Showbiz Pizza, only a million times more terrifying. This demented brown bear is every child and every security guard's worst nightmare, coming to life with his fellow Splash Mountain rejects when the lights at the pizza parlor go out. Freddy has exploded into popularity so rapidly that he's already been the focus of multiple sequels and Let's Play videos. Something of the ultimate screamer, you wouldn't want Freddy jumping out at you in the middle of the night. Number 8. John Marston Red Dead Redemption. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. This outlaw is torn between the good, the bad, and the ugly when the FBI forces him to take out his former wild bunch in exchange for his family's safety. If I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. John Marston desires nothing more than to leave his life of crime behind, but that's unfortunately not in the cards just yet. So calm down and play along with us. His road to redemption can often feel like a road to perdition, all while committing murder and grand theft stagecoach. Overall, Marston emerges as one of the most complex anti-heroes of this medium, challenging whether the ends justify the means and looking like a total boss in the process. Number 7. Bayonetta – Bayonetta Series Arriving in the US and Europe right after the start of this decade, Bayonetta is reminiscent of a character out of Zack Snyder's Sucker Punch. Only, you know, fun, funny, and complete with a refreshing personality. You took the words right out of my mouth. At first, this shape-shifting witch might seem like a bit of a fan service sex god, but Bayonetta unexpectedly sneaks up on the player as a character. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. With a very complicated backstory and empathetic connections towards those closest to her, Bayonetta becomes incredibly appealing on both the outside and the inside. Now that you mention it. Throughout her over-the-top adventures, you can count on her being witty, flexible, and able to get out of any scuffle with a cheeky grin. Well, not very romantic. Number 6. Claptrap – Borderlands Series Sorry, I gotta take this. Talk to me! While the Borderlands games are full of wisecracking characters like Handsome Jack, the one that'll likely stick with you the most is this general purpose robot. There's no stopping us now, minions! Together, we shall free Pandora! The rapid talking claptrap never shuts up, but that's acceptable because he's constantly stealing the franchise's best lines. Now that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance! Due to his programming, claptrap usually comes off as chipper, excited, and optimistic, even when he's extremely depressed. <laughs> yeah, I totally just got fired. His larger-than-life presence leaves you wanting even more, which is why Claptrap got upgraded to playable character in Borderlands the pre-sequel and is the star of his own web series. You call that a cup of reverse homogenized non-fat mocha berry semi-cola? Number 5. Elizabeth. Bioshock Infinite. Are you real? I'm real enough. It would have been easy for the developers of Bioshock Infinite to make Elizabeth into another annoying escort mission or an AI companion. Instead, they created one of the most intriguing and likable female characters ever. How do you wash away the things that you've done? You don't. Cooped up like a caged bird for years, Elizabeth is wide-eyed and curious, but also intelligent, resourceful, and always around to throw you a little extra ammo. Need a lot picked. Give me a second. 
She quickly becomes the driving force that gets the player through the game, resulting in a mind-blowing conclusion where they learn this mysterious woman is capable of more than they ever imagined. No reason. Plus, she gets a super happy ending at the end of the expansion, Burial at Sea. Get your hands off me! Number 4, Clementine. Telltale's The Walking Dead series. I want my parents to come home now. Okay, we're just gonna go out and say it. The characters in Telltale's The Walking Dead are way better than the ones on the TV show. Yeah, come at me, bro. You're smarter than all of them. The most captivating character of them all is Clementine, a little girl that season one protagonist, Lee Everett, swears to protect. Let's go. Stay close to me. In season two, Clementine takes center stage and grows up right before our eyes. <laughs> Although The Walking Dead gets more tragic and shocking with each passing episode, Clementine's will to survive keeps us going. Strong, smart, and caring. She's one of the most believable child characters in fiction. I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Number three, Voss Montenegro, Far Cry 3. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to my show. The gaming industry has given us a number of memorable villains, but few are as legitimately spine-tingling as Boss Montenegro from Far Cry 3. I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Did you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Why? Because he feels like a person that could exist in the real world. And thanks to Michael Mondo, he technically does. Chris, say hello to the internet peoples. Holding our heroes captive, Everything about this madman, from his body language, to his definition of insanity speech, to his unpredictable tendencies, rings true to a genuine psychopath. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Each word that emanates from his mouth chills the player to the bone. That is crazy. Number two, Trevor Phillips, Grand Theft Auto V. Ah! Oh, I love you! Obscene, immoral, and with a surprisingly large vocabulary. Trevor Phillips leaves behind a trail of carnage wherever he goes. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! That's exactly why he's such a perfect fit for the Grand Theft Auto universe, though. This criminal is the human incarnation of a car wreck. He may be hard to watch, but you simply can't look away as Trevor beats, tortures, and kills people in a fit of anarchy. He doesn't care what others think of him, and that's actually kind of refreshing. Being bad never felt so good with Trevor in the driver's seat. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the glass. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph! Uh, uh, hello? Number one, Joel and Ellie, The Last of Us. Now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! Joel, a surly survivor seeking redemption, and Ellie, a 14-year-old possessing the answers to mankind's future, are such authentic individuals that they practically feel like flesh and blood. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. The action set pieces in The Last of Us are an afterthought compared to the quieter moments when these two simply connect as human beings. Oh, baby girl. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Joel. When enemies do attack, however, we're 100% committed to making sure that the people we've grown to love will endure. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else, because the truth is I would just be more scared. The relationship Joel and Ellie develop is a true breakthrough in how meaningful and important video games can be. So, is this everything you were hoping for? Do you agree with our list? Beautiful. Which recent video game character left an impression on you? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. This is your big scene. This, Scooter, my man, is your big moment. Okay.